Hackney. 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 What happens when you merge a bar, a coffee shop, and a bicycle workshop? You get look mum, no hands. I would say it's a one of a kind place, but there are two in London, and the Old Street branch has the workshop. I prefer the one in Hackney because it feels more relaxed, like a hidden lounge. Look mum's love of bicycles is everywhere, and it's not just on the ceilings. They have regular cycle themed exhibitions and even host cycle speed dating nights. But I haven't come here for the bikes, I'm here to try the coffee. And who better to guide me than head barista Adrian? I'm really falling in love with sweet shop espresso from Scrama. It's really fruity and very sweet. Adrian's passion for coffee is nearly as grand as his beard, so I'll let him tell you his story. So my journey with coffee starts in the Poland like three years ago. My friend he's a Damian Durga, who's who is working now for Bonanza Cafe in a, in a Berlin. He inspired me, his knowledge, his passion. Uh, he pushed me to this world, to the world of the coffee, and he was like, man, you have to try this one, you have to taste this one. It's it's amazing. You can find this cup of coffee like marmalade, peach and raspberry jam. And I was like, man, I can't believe it of this. And when I try it, I was like so surprised. So, and then I just fall in love in coffee. I think more coffee shops will get now filters coffee, like a raw press pullover. A lot of people will be like changing coffees, like ordering from all around the world. I think there is like in every jobs uh, you have two types of people. So, in coffee industry, you have people who are going to the coffee shops and working as baristas with passion so they take care of the coffees every day they checking coffees tasting them they talking about this with friends with customers they just fall in love a lot and there is another type who is just coming to, to work for them it's just a job so they just making coffee they finishing the the shift and then going home or just for a bit so that's it wise words indeed he then tells me there are some exciting new coffees in from Bonanza in Berlin, so I will be trying two of them. So I'm taking 60 grams of coffee, and our blooming will be now 30 seconds. The blooming is like opening the coffee, and I'm trying to not pouring our water on the sides of the, the V60, because then you're cleaning this coffee in the filters. So you have to be really gentle and to watch everything all the time. Unusual glass, I like that. My first coffee from Mexico. Incredible. Instantly I feel like I'm drinking an African coffee, almost a yoga chef. There is a sour complexity to this coffee. I don't imagine I would get normally from South American coffees. But this coffee's delicate balance of complexity and light floral notes, we could be talking about minutes or seconds in terms of timing the roast. So there really is a fine art to getting this level of complexity in a coffee. And I'm very impressed. Now I'm about to try a Muthiki Ini from Kenya. I don't get any smell traveling into my nose like the last coffee. What I am getting is a wonderful layer of fruit. Straight away, it's there, it's not so sharp. When people say there is fruitiness to a Kenyan coffee, they immediately assume I'm going to get attacked by a whole fruit salad. Very subtly I'm picking up that kind of sourness that you get in an African coffee. Everything just rolls smoothly. Very, very smooth. The fruit is not so sharp, but it's there. So, let's wrap this one up. Coffee is terrific. Five stars. And with people like Adrian at the helm, you will be in for a treat. Five more stars. I was a little perplexed by all the bike stuff, but it does give the place a unique style, in London anyway. Four stars. Overall, tight-fitting cycle gear aside, look mum no hands has won me over.